Called a kind, generous man who gives to his community in many ways, Charles Chuck Cheney is the 2011 Citizen of the Year. Cheney has worked at White House Opticians since his junior year at Dover High School in 1969. Now semi-retired, one nomination letter commented, it's a good thing he is retired because he now has even more time to do what he loves and what he loves is helping out his neighbors and his community. The list of organizations impacted by Cheney's service includes the Boy Scouts where he has spent over 40 years in various capacity from den leaders to unit commissioner. The Dover Holiday Parade where he has served as float coordinator for nearly 30 years and the Dover High School Alumni Committee. Beyond the organizations Cheney is formerly involved in, countless letters were received from his friends and neighbors. Called the best possible neighbor, Cheney is always quick to lend assistance in times of need. From the simple lending of tools and being a faux grandpa to neighborhood kids, to assistance during potential serious situations of downed trees and flooded basements. His calm and level head has saved the day numerous times. Perhaps the most fitting compliments include, he is the nicest person I know, and he's given a tremendous amount to the community and has asked for nothing in return. Dover needs more Chuck Cheneys, more people who are willing to lend a hand with no preconceived notion of what's in it for them, more people who show genuine compassion for their neighbors, more people who show pride in their community. Although most of his influence is behind the scenes, Chuck Cheney is a powerful force in Dover and embodies the spirit of the Citizen of the Year Award. Well, Chuck Cheney is just a great choice for a Citizen of the Year. Uh, a lot of the work he does is really behind the scenes, but his efforts over the years with the Boy Scouts, uh, the Holiday Parade, I know he's tried to retire from uh, coordinating the floats for many years and they just keep drawing him back in and it's great to bring that knowledge and what better way to, to spend your time on uh, Friday nights and Saturday day football games than firing off the cannon over at Dover High School. And on top of that, Chuck's just the kind of neighbor everybody wants to, to have in their neighborhood. He's the go-to guy, uh, he's got the answers, he's got the solutions, he's got the tools you can borrow. Uh, great white Deborah, it's, it's a great team and congratulations Chuck. Several weeks before I knew Chuck was nominated for this award, I happened to say to a gathering, do you know who would make a great Citizen of the Year sometime? My brother Chuck. He'll do anything for anybody at any time. The skating club needs to go to Worcester, he'll drive. He'll go to the Bloodmobile and donate blood, but he also stays to serve refreshments and help clean up. He'll help organize the Boy Scout food drive, but he also lugs all those boxes and cans to the food pantry. And for years and years, he left his office at lunchtime, put on his Santa suit, and delighted children at a community daycare center here in town. Sometimes he even goes beyond what the city will do. You know, you put out a trap to catch a squirrel and you catch a skunk, Chuck will be there to take care of it. I wish we could clone that guy. This year, he'll be at the head of the Christmas parade, and somebody else will need to line it up after all his years of service. But his brand of citizenship goes beyond one definable job or task. Chuck has lived a quiet, dedicated life of service, always going the second mile, always willing to lend a hand with a spirit, a generous spirit of giving and that has made him not only a good citizen in the old-fashioned sense but a valuable asset to the city of Dover.